Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited to announce the start of a brand new course on Clo 3D for beginners. If you're new to Clo 3D or 3D garment design in general, you're in the right place. I'll be teaching everything from the basics step by step. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to create stunning digital fashion pieces. Today is our very first class and we are going to dive right into it. In this session, we'll be draping an outfit on the avatar and getting familiar with the basic tools you'll need to get started. Let's open up Clo 3D. The first thing you'll see is the default workspace. Don't worry if it looks a bit overwhelming at first. We'll break it down and make it easy to understand. First, let me open my work. As you can see, the Clo 3D interface has two main screens. On the left, we have the 3D screen, where you see the model, and on the right, we have the 2D screen, where you see the patterns. For making a garment, we need a model, which we call an avatar here in Clo 3D. You can find the avatars in the library box on the left side. To open any file, simply double click on it. Let's open the avatar folder. Double click on the avatar folder and as you can see, it has models for females, kids and men. We'll double click on the female folder to select the female model. Now that we have a female avatar loaded in the 3D screen, let's look at some basic navigation. To pan around the model, click on the scroll button on your mouse and drag, just like this. You can also pan the 2D screen the same way. To zoom in and out, simply scroll the scroll button. We can rotate our 3D model by right clicking and dragging with the mouse. This helps us view the model from different angles. Now, let's draw a simple garment in the 2D screen. We'll use the polygon tool to create the basic bodice shape. It's similar to the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. For example, to make a neckline curve, click on the center and then click on the shoulder and drag. You see two blue lines appear, these are called curve handles. To remove the curve, click on the dot to make a straight shoulder line. For the armhole, click and drag again to create the curve. Complete the pattern. Next, let's make a skirt pattern. Click and drag to make a curve. We'll only make half of the pattern for now. To create the back pattern, select the entire pattern and copy it using Ctrl plus C. Normally, we use Ctrl plus V to paste, but as you can see, it creates the same side pattern. For make the mirror pattern, press Ctrl plus C for copy and Ctrl plus R to mirror it. You can place it anywhere. Now you can see the patterns are floating in the air. To place the patterns on the avatar, press Shift plus F on your keyboard. You can also use the avatar arrangement points. 
turn your model and click on the dot where you want to place the pattern. Do the same for the skirt pattern. Turn the avatar and place the pattern on the dot. For the front, drag the pattern a little bit and place it on the dots. To remove the dots, press Shift plus F again. As you can see, it does a great job, but some patterns might go inside the avatar. You can adjust them manually. Select the pattern, and you will see a circle with arrows, we called it Gizmo. Use the green arrow to move your pattern up and down. The red arrow to move it right and left. And the blue arrow to move it in and out. Adjust the patterns that are not placed well. After placing the pattern properly, now let's stitch the patterns together. On your left, there's a segment sewing tool. Click on that and then click on the lines you want to stitch together, like the shoulders and sides. Sometimes, we might sew the pattern incorrectly. To undo it, press Ctrl plus Z. You can also use the edit sewing tool from the toolbar. Click on the stitch and press delete, then sew it correctly again. For the other side of the pattern, select all the patterns by pressing shift and left clicking. Or make a rectangle in the air by clicking and dragging with the mouse now, copy with Ctrl plus C, and for a mirrored pattern with symmetric quality, press Ctrl plus D. You'll see a blue outline that shows the symmetry. Now, if you edit one side of the pattern, it will automatically change the other side. Don't forget to sew the center of the pattern too. Once everything is stitched together, simulate the garment by pressing the spacebar key. And there you have it. We just draped our first outfit on the avatar. This was just a quick introduction to some of the basic tools and features in Clo 3D. In the upcoming classes, we'll dive deeper into more complex designs, fabric properties, and customization techniques. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next lessons. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and I'll be happy to help. See you in the next class. Bye.